Even we can lie in our mind, but we can lie in our feelings. You know, it's there. So it's important to be aware of what we are feeling. See? How is the co coherence between your heart, your mind, your attitude of life? And the attitude of life is also a message to the cosmos. You know, so everything that comes from the center, from your inner heart, the inner sun, on your heart, you know, is the truth and it's expanding. That's why also that center here, besides the agriculture experimental center, the center was to be in the center to practice that. You know, other ways, we want to be happy, we want to bring many things in our lives, but from the periphery. Okay? One of the circles. Okay? But if we go to the center, we have access to everything. Huh? Center. So Costco is navel, vital center. Tiwanaku was called Taipikala, the Middle Stone, vital center. Chabin is another culture, was called uh, Chabin because it comes from Chaupin, which means vital center. So it's important to be in the center. When we are in the center, okay, we are with the inner self, with the authentic self. We just expand. There is some things we have to go through, but from there, everything becomes much easier, effortless. Hmm? Because sometimes it's too much energy, you know, thinking how we fix this, how to fix that. You know, the, the most important to love ourselves, that center, and that center, the experience in life here. So these kind of spirals here, because those are spirals. Some people say, no, but it's concentric circles. How come you see spirals? But when you put a stone in a water, mm -hmm. okay, makes ripples. Yes. Yeah? Those are also a way of spiral, because it's expanding. The meaning of the spiral is expansion. Of course. So these circles, seven. The seven temples, the seven religions, huh? the seven harmonies. You remember the seven religions? It's very important to be aware that what, what our authentic self, what our inner self wants to bring in this reality is joy. Joy is when everything is in harmony. Okay? So, how we see if we are growing or if we are not growing spiritually. Because the mind can lie, can tell you, okay, you are the top, you don't need, no problem now, you are the best, okay? You're a master. Very good, I believe that. <laughs> but suddenly you have to check, oh, how I am doing, how is my love with the mother? First relation. Second relation with the father, so. I am, if I am grateful for my life, if I am grateful with the mother for all what she brings for us, if I am grateful for the light, for the life. The third relation, family. How is my relation with family? It's all about love. So how is your love with family? Is it really the first option? The first choice to expand our love, service, and wisdom. All the relations about that. Huh? Seven, no, the, the, the fourth relation is with the neighbors. How is your love, service, and wisdom with the neighbors? It's always, you know, about how you take life. You know, we don't like it. I uh, don't like it. The neighbor, the music they put is terrible. Whatever. See? It's just how you see it, with the ego or with the inner sun. When we are in the inner sun, we are in the center, so we are in harmony. Okay? So, family is a cosmic experience, the blood family. 
Sometimes we say, no, I prefer my friends. They are my family because I choose them. Yes, that's good. But by some reason of the cosmos, you have the blood family you have. You understand? It's very important to expand love, service, and wisdom. Same the neighbors. But the neighbors, not only the people, all the expressions of life, the plants, the animals, the stone people. The fifth religion is the past that's in front of us. Okay? It's not behind, it's in front. Until we decided to let it go. See, this is the energy. We can't stop seeing it. So if I am in harmony with my past, I love my past. Oh, because I already understood the lessons, the wisdom that brought to my life. Okay? So the sixth relation is behind. The future, we don't see it yet. But all depends how we deal with the past. If we let the go of the past, we really have a new. Okay? Mm. Otherwise, we are attached to the same energy. And the seven relation with ourselves. Do I love myself or not? Maybe I'm a little bit uncomfortable with myself. If I am not comfortable with myself, you know, I am not comfortable with anybody. Always I can find a good excuse to be unhappy, you know, to comply, to create heavy energies and all of that, that, you know, is the excuse to feed, to food, to give food, to feed, because the heavy body we create with these heavy energies. So, it's all about love, but we have to experience it with the seven relations. Then we really brought an important contribution mm. to the planet, to the cosmos, to bring that harmony. And all this harmony is natural. We don't need anything. Just put our light. That's our love. Mother, father, family, neighbors, past, future, put ourselves. You know, some people say, well, the seven religions with yourself. But what about if we if we say this is the first one? Yeah, some way we can say that's the first one. But if I say, oh, I am doing, well, I'm doing very well. I love myself. I, you know, did it. But first, if I see how I'm reflecting that love in the others, then I say, oh, I still need to love myself more. Okay? If I start, you know, watching myself, because in the mind we will say, oh, fine, everybody has problems, everybody has difficulties in life, everybody. But it's about to clarify these densities, to bring more light. So that happens when we are aware. How we are aware? When we see how we are reflecting, you know, in the others, you know, our own energies our own beliefs, our own practice of faith, whatever we can call it. When we see in harmony around us, that means that for sure you are in harmony inside of you. If you see some unharmony, you say unharmony? Disharmony. 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 Outside, there is something still there we need to fix. Huh? So, this way to see, we call the seven relations or the seven harmonies. So it's important. It's like, like a GPS, you know, where you are. 